In this video, we're going to tie a classic little fly called the Jacid. First thing we're going to do is start off the TMCO 100 hook and some Vivas 14 or 16 knot thread. Now this fly is generally tied really, really small, uh, either a size 20, 22. Uh, we're tying it today here in a 20. First thing we're going to start with is some Grizzly Hackle. I'm just going to take a tiny little feather here just so that the fibers reach down and touch the point of the hook. I'm just going to tie this in here right at the back and then wrap my thread forward here just to kind of maintain a nice smooth body on this fly. Now this is a really good fly for kind of technical rivers. Um, fish that see a lot of bushy dry flies and kind of the same old stuff uh, can get really wary and really picky at times and this is one of those flies that you whip out of your box chances are you'll be able to get that fish to eat it. The next material we're going to use is some chocolate brown dubbing. Now you can use a dry fly dubbing or any type of kind of natural dubbing. We're going to use some standard hairline dubbing here in a chocolate brown can also tie this fly with black dubbing, dark brown dubbing. The dubbing isn't as important as the top of the fly or even the hackle really. It just needs to be a darker dubbing of sorts. Then we're going to take our dubbing here. And we're just going to lay down a nice even smooth body with it trying to really control your wraps so that they're nice and even. Now if you're new to tying the jacids and you haven't tied many of them, you're going to want to use a, or leave a little bit of space near the eye of the hook. Now if you've tied a few of these and you kind of know the proportions and how much room you need, I usually tie almost all the way to the eye. I'll leave just a couple thread wraps of space. Then you're going to take your hackle and very carefully you're going to take it and wrap it forward. I'm going to use my hackle pliers here just because I have such a short little delicate piece of hackle. Hackle pliers really help control your wraps and get them to go exactly where you want them to go. only takes five or six wraps. Just kind of spiral them forward. Then you can capture it with your thread. And just take a couple of turns of thread to secure it. Then trim out that hackle. Now you're going to be able to see every little mistake and every little thing I do here because we're tying on a size 20 and the camera makes everything look giant so the fish don't care too much if you make small little mistakes or have extra thread wrap showing or whatever but you guys will be able to see all that. Now we're just going to trim the top of our fly here this is going to give us a little landing pad for our jungle cock to lay down on. Then we're going to select a small little jungle cock nail. And we're going to strip away some of the fibers, exposing the stem. And then you just kind of roughly measure it out on your hook shank. You want it to reach back just past the bend of the hook, but not very far. You just want it to be about the length of the fly. 
or of the hook I should say. And once you have it measured out, you are ready to tie it in. You're just very carefully going to lay it right on top of the hook shank. Now you can see there's two sides. There's kind of a white side and there's a yellow side or orange side. You want the orange side to face up. Then I'm just going to place it on top of the hook and capture it very carefully with a wrap of thread. And I get pretty picky about the wings on my jassets. I like them to lay just perfectly flat on top of the fly. And I'm capture, capturing a few hackle fibers as well. So I'm just going to trim a few of those hackle fibers out. mainly because I know you guys will be able to see them. So capture the, the nail here. And then we can basically pull the excess stem back onto the head and I'm going to wrap over it. This is going to help lock that jungle cock nail into place and really keep it from going anywhere. Be careful how many wraps you use. Too many wraps and you really build up too much of a head on this fly so be really careful and just to finish it off we're going to whip finish, try not to trap any hackle fibers if we can avoid it. Then you can trim out your thread and just kind of clean everything up. Sometimes some of the hackle fibers will kind of split up your jungle cock nail so you can just kind of arrange everybody so they're all in place and what I like to do is use a little bit of super glue but first I'm just gonna kind of arrange my jungle cock nail so that all the fibers are laying back nice then I'll take a little dab of super glue and I'll dab it right on the head of the fly and that'll kind of soak right up into the base of that jungle cock nail and that'll help keep it in place and nice and rigid. And you can just kind of touch the base of the nail and that'll really keep it in place. And that's all there is to the Jacid. Great little technical fly not used very much anymore, but extremely effective even to this day.